wishing you happiness and just laugh to approach and share with us Google Google and the students on LinkedIn. I just completed my first set training and I have learned how to perform CPR. Now you see a person on the road lying down and you want to help that person, then first thing to do is check for danger. Make sure that you are not going to the person who himself is in the danger and you are also putting yourself in danger. So I look for the danger, everything is safe, and I step closer to the person and I see for a responsive penny. Hello, hello, are you okay? There's no response. I just pinch at his shoulders or her shoulders to get the response and there's no response. Then what I will do is I'll shout and seek help, say, someone call 995 please. After doing that, what I will do is I will see that if there's something in his or her mouth that might be obstructing his airways. Once I do that, I just tilt his head and put, put the chin down to check if anything in the mouth. If I see something in the mouth, I might just put my finger in to remove it so he or she is able to breathe properly. After checking the airways, I am going to check whether this person is breathing or not by putting my one hand here and looking at his chest. So look, listen and feel. So I'm going to feel his breathing, look at his body, looking at his chest and listening to his, even from in any air coming from his mouth. If there's no breathing, I'm just going to straight away perform CPR. But before that, I also need to check the time. What time I'm starting? So it's 12.25 and I'm going to start the CPR. I need to locate where I'm going to put my hands. These are his ribs and I come to the middle. I'm going to press my hand this way. Lock my hand. Keep my hand straight and I'm going to start the counting. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 10. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 50. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 20. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 20. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 30. After that, I'm just going to make sure that the person is breathing again, not breathing. I'm just going to continue with it by 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 10. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 50. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 20. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 25. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 30. Just gonna wait for a minute to check because it's been just one, two, and three, and I'm gonna start my third cycle. One and two and three and four and five. One and two and three and four and ten. One and two and three and four and fifteen. One and two and three and four and twenty. Two and three and four and twenty-five. One and two and three and four and thirty. This is the third cycle. Just gonna wait for a minute. One, two, three. Not breathing yet. One and two and three and four and five. One and two and three and four and five. And two and three and four and fifty. One and two and three and four and twenty. One and two and three and four and twenty. Two and three and four and thirty. No breathing yet. Just going to complete the last round. One and two and three and four and five. One and two and three and four and ten. One and two and three and four and fifty. One and two and three and four and two. One and two and three and four and twenty. One and two and three and four and thirty. Just going to check for breathing. And if the person is breathing, he are able to save his or her own life, his life. And if not, I'll continue with this cycle till the paramedics in the ambulance arrive. All of you can do that as well. I will encourage all of you to go for first aid training so you can save lives.